Ultraviolet is a form of electromagnetic radiation with wavelength from 10 nanometers to 400 nanometers, shorter than that of visible light but longer than X-rays. Ultraviolet means beyond violet, violet being the color of the highest frequencies of visible light. UV radiation is present in sunlight and constitutes about 10% of the total electromagnetic radiation output from the sun. It is also produced by electric arcs and specialized lights, such as mercury vapor lamps, tanning lamps, and black lights. Although long wavelength ultraviolet is not considered an ionizing radiation because its photons lack the energy to ionize atoms, it can cause chemical reactions and causes many substances to glow or fluoresce. Consequently, the chemical and biological effects of UV are greater than simple heating effects, and many practical applications of UV radiation derive from its interactions with organic molecules. Shortwave ultraviolet light damages DNA and sterilizes surfaces with which it comes into contact. For humans, suntan and sunburn are familiar effects of exposure of the skin to UV light, along with an increased risk of skin cancer. The amount of UV light produced by the sun means that the Earth would not be able to sustain life on dry land if most of that light were not filtered out by the atmosphere. More energetic, shorter wavelength, extreme UV below 121 nanometers ionizes air so strongly that it is absorbed before it reaches the ground. However, ultraviolet light is also responsible for the formation of vitamin D in most land vertebrates, including humans. The UV spectrum thus has effects both beneficial and harmful to life. The lower wavelength limit of human vision is conventionally taken as 400 nanometers, so ultraviolet rays are invisible to humans, although some people can perceive light at slightly shorter wavelengths than this. Insects, birds, and some mammals can see near UV. Ultraviolet rays are invisible to most humans. The lens of the human eye blocks most radiation in the wavelength range of 300 to 400 nanometers, shorter wavelengths are blocked by the cornea. Humans also lack color receptor adaptations for ultraviolet rays. Nevertheless, the photoreceptors of the retina are sensitive to near UV, and people lacking a lens, a condition known as aphakia, perceive near UV as whitish blue or whitish violet. UV radiation was discovered in 1801 when the German physicist Johann Wilhelm Ritter observed that invisible rays just beyond the violet end of the visible spectrum darkened silver chloride soaked paper more quickly than violet light itself. In 1878 the sterilizing effect of short wavelength light by killing bacteria was discovered. By 1903 it was known the most effective wavelengths were around 250 nanometers. In 1960, the effect of ultraviolet radiation on DNA was established. Very hot objects emit UV radiation. The sun emits ultraviolet radiation at all wavelengths, including the extreme ultraviolet where it crosses into X-rays at 10 nanometers. Extremely hot stars emit proportionally more UV radiation than the sun. Sunlight in space at the top of Earth's atmosphere is composed of about 50% infrared light, 40% visible light, and 10% ultraviolet light, for a total intensity of about 1400 with M2 in vacuum. The atmosphere blocks about 77% of the sun's UV, when the sun is highest in the sky, with absorption increasing at shorter UV wavelengths. At ground level with the sun at zenith, sunlight is 44% visible light, 3% ultraviolet, and the remainder infrared. UV also plays a major role in plant development as it affects most of the plant hormones. Ultraviolet absorbers are molecules used in organic materials as polymers or paints to absorb UV radiation and reduce the UV degradation of a material. The absorbers can themselves degrade over time, so monitoring of absorber levels in weathered materials is necessary. In sunscreen, ingredients that absorb UV rays, such as avobenzone and oxybenzone, are organic chemical absorbers or blockers. They are contrasted with inorganic absorbers of UV radiation such as carbon black, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Ultraviolet light can be artificially produced by black light lamps that emits long-wave UV radiation and little visible light. Black light lamps work similarly to other fluorescent lamps, but use a phosphor on the inner tube surface which emits UVA radiation instead of visible light. Black lights are used in applications in which extraneous visible light must be minimized, mainly to observe fluorescence, the colored glow that many substances give off when exposed to UV light. UV emitting bulbs are also sold for other special purposes, such as tanning lamps and reptile keeping. Reptiles need UV for biosynthesis of vitamin D, and other metabolic processes. Specifically cholecalciferol or vitamin D3, which is needed for basic cellular and neural functioning as well as the utilization of calcium for bone and egg production. The UVA wavelength is also visible to many reptiles and might play a significant role in their ability to survive in the wild as well as in visual communication between individuals. Therefore, in a typical reptile enclosure, a fluorescent UV light source at the proper strength and spectrum for the species, must be available for many captive species to survive.
Shortwave UV lamps are used extensively for disinfection of surfaces in laboratories and food processing industries, and for disinfecting water supplies. Commercially available low-pressure mercury vapor lamps emit about 86% of their radiation at 254 nanometers, with 265 nanometers being the peak germicidal effectiveness curve. UV at these germicidal wavelengths damage a microorganism's DNA, RNA so that it cannot reproduce, making it harmless, even though the organism may not be killed. UV light causes the body to produce vitamin D, which is essential for life. The human body needs some UV radiation to maintain adequate vitamin D levels however, excess exposure produces harmful effects that typically outweigh the benefits. Vitamin D promotes the creation of serotonin which is thought to provide sensations of happiness, well-being and serenity to human beings. In humans, excessive exposure to UV radiation can result in acute and chronic harmful effects on the eye's dioptric system and retina. Also overexposure to UV radiation not only can cause sunburn but also some forms of skin cancer. UV degradation is one form of polymer degradation that affects plastics exposed to sunlight. The problem appears as discoloration or fading, cracking, loss of strength or disintegration. The effects of attack increase with exposure time and sunlight intensity. The addition of UV absorbers inhibits the effect. Sensitive polymers include thermoplastics and speciality fibers like aramids. UV absorption leads to chain degradation and loss of strength at sensitive points in the chain structure. Aramid rope must be shielded with a sheath of thermoplastic if it is to retain its strength. Colorless fluorescent dyes that emit blue light under UV are added as optical brighteners to paper and fabrics. The blue light emitted by these agents counteracts yellow tints that may be present and causes the colors and whites to appear whiter or more brightly colored. To help prevent counterfeiting of currency, or forgery of important documents such as driver's licenses and passports, the paper may include a UV watermark or fluorescent multicolor fibers that are visible under ultraviolet light. Postage stamps are tagged with a phosphor that glows under UV rays to permit automatic detection of the stamp and facing of the letter. These UV fluorescent dyes are used in many other applications like biochemistry and forensics. Ultraviolet light helps detect organic material deposits that remain on surfaces where periodic cleaning and sanitizing may have failed. It is used in the hotel industry, manufacturing, and other industries where levels of cleanliness or contamination are inspected.